Hey everybody, welcome to the Mark Parham Podcast. You can find me on Spotify by typing in Mark Parham Podcast. And then also you can find me on YouTube by typing in uh, Mark Parham. You know, I have a question. Um, well, it's not a question. Let me, let me backtrack. You know, I've been uh, looking at the situation with the uh, university. I think she's from the University of Georgia. I've been looking at the story with uh, that young woman. And it's sort of sad that, you know, we are, you know, you have people in the media making all these excuses. Well, you know, this wouldn't have happened if this happened. And, you know, just people doing a lot of finger pointing. And I saw, um, you know, some of the reports where this guy was an illegal immigrant. He, you know, did something to this girl, murdered this girl. And, you know... Just you, again, you gotta you gotta read the story because it's so it's so depressing to even talk about. But you know, Joe Biden and the Democrats are destroying this country with just letting over anybody. We have you know we're not processing these folks. Some of these illegal immigrants are you know criminals in their country, and then they get to come over here and you know we roll out the red carpet for them. I mean, we do more for some of these illegal immigrants than we do for our own. Uh, military veterans. And it's it's sort of sad. And if you look at what happened with this student in Georgia, all of it could have been prevented. I mean, they said this guy had, you know, uh, uh, done stuff in other states and other places in America where he's been arrested. And, you know, we have to get tough on crime again. I know people want all this justice reform and all this other stuff, but we're just going to have to get tough on crime. If you do something to somebody, Maybe you deserve a life sentence. Maybe you deserve capital punishment. But all of this like soft on crime and we can reform everybody. That's not going to work. And uh, if you think about it, some of these illegal immigrants, we they do uh, something. And then what do the judges and stuff turn around and do? What does the legal system do? They get them and then they release them back to the streets and then they commit a more heinous crime. And then all of a sudden, oh, well, this could have happened and this and that. There's a bunch of finger pointing. And this girl had a bright future. Um, She, I think she was a nursing student. She was very young. She had a lot of friends. I I think she was a part of, you know, some of the church groups and stuff out there. And to see somebody just starting out life, you know, to see her life end is, is, is horrible. But you have somebody who doesn't even belong in this country, you know, that committed the crime. I mean, that's just, that's just even, that's just... It's terrible. And uh, I saw one of the press conferences where they had the mayor of, I think it's Athens, Georgia, where he got up there and he was, you know, oh, well, you know, uh, I feel sorry and this and that, you know, how they always make up a bunch of excuses. And I'm so happy that the protesters called him out. Like, you know, we have politicians that will go up there and tell a bunch of lies. And he was trying to push away the responsibility onto the, the, the person who committed the crime, but it's just like, no, this goes all the way up to Joe Biden in poor leadership. And a lot of these Democrats don't realize we need to get rid of all of these sanctuary cities, not just, you know, one here and one there. All of the sanctuary city idea is it's a horrible idea. And, and it, it's, if we keep it in place, you're going to see more situations like this. And, to see the mayor get up there and he's speaking and, well, this and this and that. You know how they make a bunch of excuses and the protesters were calling him liar. They were shouting and I'm so happy. More people have to stand up to some of these politicians and really just let them know how they feel. And and I think, and I've been looking on TV and I've been seeing all the news reports and I'm glad that, you know, they have the protesters, they're shouting out liar and all this stuff and it's making a huge impact. Because it's just, we, we, we can't continue to allow just everybody to come to this country. If you're going to come to this country, come legally. There's a legal process. You know, do what everybody else is doing who's coming here legal, you know, using the legal process. But just to have folks say, you know what, I'm tired of where I live at, where, where I'm from. I want to just cross over into America for a better life. We can't, we can't allow that because you think about it. If you right now said you wanted to go to China or you want to just randomly go to Mexico, they'd throw you in jail. 
They wouldn't even let you live in the country for 2.5 seconds. Only in America can you come here, get benefits, housing, uh, food, shelter, clothing, and you don't have to pay for anything. But our veterans have been screaming out for help and, you know, oh, just wait or just, you know, talk to this person or do that. Or, you know, it's just like if we're going to treat these migrants like kings and queens, we should at least be doing it for the people that have you know, fought for our country. You got people who are veterans begging for help and shelter and food. And it falls on deaf ears, but we'll give somebody who just came here from Venezuela, we'll roll out the red carpet. And so American people are waking up, people are tired, and this is really going to affect uh, the election. I mean, even folks who are Joe Biden supporters, they're looking at this case in Georgia and saying, you know what? This per- I might have supported Biden, but no, we can't, we can't stand for this. And so, again, this, only, this is only going to help the Republicans. It's only going to help Donald Trump. I plan to vote for Donald Trump because America has just gone down the wrong path. And uh, another four years of Joe Biden, I mean, this country will be looking like a third world nation. That's how bad it's gotten. I mean, I don't, Joe Biden doesn't even know how to get off the stage when he, after he makes a speech. And so is that a person that you want running the country? No. And so again, to solve all this, we need to get tough on crime, build the wall, secure the borders. Simple solutions would stop the flow of drugs. It would stop the flow of criminals coming into communities. It would, it would just like dramatically help our economy. I mean, the the big myth is, oh, well, these people come in and they benefit our economy. Well, why not give those jobs to Americans? Like, why not prioritize Americans that want to work instead of getting somebody coming here for a little of nothing that will turn around and be working at a, a, a warehouse one day and then be committing a crime the next? So, again, we have to get back to America first. We need to prioritize ourselves. We need to stop. You know, speaking about prioritizing ourselves, stop giving all this money to the Ukraine. Let some of these other countries like France and Germany and Italy, let those countries step up. You know, America can't keep on going down this path. And I think voting for Joe Biden again, and I know the Democrats are probably going to try to, you know, do some hanky panky with this election. But Joe Biden running this country for four more years would, you know, I don't even want to think about it. It'd just be a, a total disaster. But anyway, Follow me on Spotify. You can type in Mark Parham Podcast, and I'm on Spotify. And then also follow me on Rumble. Just type in Mark Parham, and I should be up. Up there. Thank you.